Here's a way how you can install Metal Gear Solid 2 on your Linux PC. Before we start, I should warn you that we'll be copying a couple of DLLs, maybe an XA or two. So, for that, your country's copyright law should give you the right to do so. So, look into it before we start it. If it does, let's let's start. If it doesn't, I recommend you not to do so because you can get in trouble. Okay, let's start. For this, of course, you'll need a game disk to install it from, and you will need to play Linux. You can download Plan Linux from their official website, planlinux.com. Navigate to Downloads. Download whatever version you need. I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download this file and install it. Install it. Okay, after you install it, you need to start it. Let's start playing Linux. Okay, first thing we need to do is to download the wine. For that, you should press Tools, Menu Wine, Wine Ocean. Make sure that x86 is selected and select 1.7.22. I tested with this wine and it worked. Okay, select this and press this arrow key. Next, and it will download the wine for us. Before it, while it's downloading, uh, I should encourage you to support Plan Linux and Wine. Wine software and Plan Linux software. Fantastic uh, developers and community. So you should support them. Although this is possible because of their work. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to install MGS or other things through Wine. Okay, let's close this and let's create a wine prefix. For that, you should press configure new next 32 bits and the wine version we downloaded. Let's choose a name here. I'll call it MGS2 and press next. It's creating a wine prefix. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, it's created a wine prefix. Let's select that wine prefix that we created and install components. Let's install the direct music install select this and install and let's install the sound the sound where is it here select that and press install okay great now we need to copy couple of DLLs in our system 32 directory. For that, you if you, you for that you should have Windows. Uh, Windows. If you have Windows, you have the rights to download these files and copy them wherever you want. If you don't, I strongly don't recommend you to do so. So. Let's hope you have Windows. Okay. Let's press me miss this and press open virtual director. Let's go to the right thing. Windows system 32. Let's copy these files. All of the files that we will be using will be provided in the description below. Let's copy these files. And paste them in 32 B 32 directory system 32. Replace and replace. Right. Let's close this. We don't need this anymore. And you would delete this. You don't need this anymore. And now we need to use command line. Very simple things. Don't worry. But it will be command line. So press open shell here. Okay. I'm gonna make it big so you can see. 
and we will be doing very easy steps here. Okay, uh, this is the thing we should do. CD into system32 and register these DLLs. Okay, for that we should first CD into it. Okay, select this and make sure that where I type capitals, you you type capitals there as well. Okay, type CD. In, uh, if you press tab here, it will auto complete like this. Windows is tab, it will auto complete 32 and enter. Okay, now we should type this with capitals P O P O L. This I don't know how it's called and W with a capital I. And if we press tab, it will auto complete. Let's put a space here and let's type reg s. Let's press tab, auto completed it. You can see and dsd mo. Okay, let's press enter here. Okay, it's registered and let's do it. Let's, let's register the second one as well. Press enter here. Great. That's all the command line we'll be using. Let's close this and let's press find here and let's press configure one. We should add MSD, MO, DSD, this to the libraries here. And I should thank this person. I don't know who he is, but he provided the workaround and huge, huge thanks to the person who created this. This is the workaround he specified. Okay. Let's press this library that we were talking about. Let's press this. MS DM. Okay. Select this. Add. Perfect. Let's set DSD MO. Head. And let's check SAD. Let's see. Head. Uh, apply. Great. Let's press graphics and we should enable the Windows mode. We should run this game and play this game in Windows mode. I think you can play it in full screen mode, but let's keep it safe. Let's press emulate virtual desktop desktop I'm planning to run this game in 720p so I'm gonna type the 720p resolution here and press apply okay great now we need to install the game okay we press run and exe in virtual drive and select your game disk and let's select MGS to set up exam Okay, install. Let's press next here. Yes. Next. Full. You need to install the full version. Next. And install. Okay, the installation will take some time. Some time now. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the installation is complete. Okay, great. As you can see, it's finished installing. Let's press finish here. Okay, it will close. Now let's press general. No, not general. Let's update it first. Press finish. Run an example, and this update will be provided in the description below. Uh, select wherever it's, it's directory, select it. And let's update our game. Okay, press install. Sounds successful. Okay, great. 
pencil as well as press general now make a new shortcut and select mgs 2 xm this is for the game to start and let's select mgs mgs 2 s config exam select that as well next this is when you want to configure your mgs let's press cancel and we can start it from here either from the shortcuts or from this let's press configure It will check the CD from and it will run. Okay, press make sure that you move this mouse this window because uh, if you don't press OK here, it won't remember. And I can confirm that controller worked. Okay, and one more thing here if the drawing you select the drawing and you select this on top you should make sure that model quality is set to this at most because otherwise there is no textures in the game so make sure the model quality is set to this everything else is up to you and your piece okay but we can't start the game yet we need to change a couple of the uh, change in xf files and your country's copyright law should give you the rights to do so Okay, here is two XF files. This is if your game is only in English, and this is if your game is multi five. My game is English, so I would open this, copy these two files, copy, let's close this, let's select English, English, press open virtual directory, drive C. Program files, Konami, Metal Gear, Bin, and let's paste it in. Replace, replace, and the game should run now. Let's press configure first again. Let's see if it remembers our settings. I'm gonna set this to lowest, low. Register, stop drawing. Effect, effect, code, slow, sound. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, and let's start the game. As you can see, the game started. Okay, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.